Finally at 6, Mike Stevens takes us to a section of the PhotoLink library that he seldom visits. This is his chance to catch up and see what's new. The non-fittables, I call them. Images that don't quite fit into the story I'm telling that day. How could I use a bald eagle hunting from on high, for example? Now, if I had more pictures of ducks on a garage roof like Gina from Dixon City sent, well, maybe I could do something. Of course, a title for such a project might be difficult, as difficult as a title here requested by Jen on Shady Lane in Texas Township. So, you can see my dilemma at times. A ring around the sun from Debbie Park in Albrightsville didn't quite fit into that day's story. Nor was there room for the Rainbow County Kaniki Center from Elkland Township. Like this piece from Mary Ann Stone in Hamlin, they make their way to the at random shelf to await their turn, which comes eventually. There are lovely things to be seen here. The tulips from Sherry Skrutsky of Archbold, from Cynthia Ront of Catawissa, tiny, colorful, growing faces in her backyard. At times, the talent for the picture flies right in, as they did for Edith Dunlap on Mosquito Valley Road in Armstrong Township. From Vicki Bowersox of Sealands Grove, a pleasant enough spring-filled stream where even a bit of time is time well spent. A bit of fishing is too. Linda Madera of Frackville found Whippoorwill Dam to her liking, though she and her husband caught no fish. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Gazing at a carpet of yellow can be good for what ails you sometimes. Carol White of Columbia Crossroads thinks all this can't help but make you smile. The events of a day are generally always worth recording. The Montour County sunset here from Cody Weand of Milton. Sunrise comes to us from Daryl Miller of Myalusing. Another in a series of random images that tell a story in their own way. A story we are always glad to relate. I'm Mike Stevens of the PhotoLink Library.